Okay, I need to make this quick. I have to go to work. But uh, I just saw a video from Abdul and Taylor. Um, and he's talking about uh, remains that have been made. Uh, well, they've been known for a little while in the community, the uh, paleo anthropological community. But they've finally been cleaned up, they've been pieced back together, and they have a skeleton of Artipithecus remedis, uh, to say it right. This is a skeleton that's about 4.4 million years old, which is the oldest relatively complete hominid skeleton to date. Uh, it was found back in the, in the uh, 90s, and they've had to very carefully extract it from the matrix that it was in. The matrix is, of course, the dirt and sedimentary material surrounding the fossil, because it was also a very fragile fossil. Now, this organism, this ancestor of ours, and or at least a cousin, a close cousin to our ancestor, um, stood about 120 centimeters tall, weighed about 50 kilograms, which is equivalent to being about four foot tall and weighing just over 100 pounds. It's about the size of a large chimpanzee, and it had a brain size slightly larger. Slightly. Um, actually, I might have said it was about the same. But either way, so let's see if I can show you a picture of it. That's an artist's rendition, of course. Um, the actual bones, I have them here somewhere. Uh, we have some bones of the hand, which I can't get in there. And there's a lot of glare on that, I apologize. There we go. As well as uh, this skeleton, this rema these remains include the pelvis, includes uh, much of the much of the uh, skull, uh, some bones in the vertebra. Uh, it appears to contain the entire, nearly the entire right leg, which is wonderful. Uh, both feet and both hands, um, and the lower arm, the lower right arm bones. And fits the uh, evolutionary prediction perfectly that, well, that you'd have a transitional fossil between hominids, specifically humans, and our closest, uh, our the last common ancestor of humans and chimpanzees, and it would show both the ancestral characteristics as well as derived characteristics. In other words, ancestral characteristics that you'd find in the ancestors, the last common ancestor, as well as variety characteristics that you find in later uh, descendants of this species. Um, even, but realize when we're talking derived characteristics, we're also meaning modified derived characteristics because even though its teeth were very similar to ours in uh, and in to other later hominids, in many ways they were still, of course, larger and a bit more robust. So I'm going to end it there because I have to go to work. But I'll put the links over in the description box uh, and the link to Abdul and Paler's video because he brought it to my attention and he deserves that. Uh, he deserves um, the uh, caller on that one. Okay, take care.